Hi, welcome to the part uh, 2 of this tutorial, the rep notify pattern. In this part of the, the tutorial, we're going to do that whenever the character picks up or presses E and he's close from a pickup, he's going to get attached a weapon on his hands. The philosophy of this uh, rep notify pattern, well this pattern, it's that whenever a variable is replicated, we can apply some logic uh, on the clients. So we do replicate variables and repli replicate stuff across the network. It's very ideal for when we have a new weapon. Whenever uh, a new something happens, it's when we do the changes. So once we go and press E, we're going to attach a, a weapon. Alright, let's begin. Alright, let's begin with something simple. We're going to create a new component into our character. So whenever we pick up something, we're going to change from the component, which is a skeletal mesh component, the mesh. Alright, let's begin. First, let's, let's begin declaring the new component, which is S, S key, right arm item. Let's make it public. Alright. Now let's initialize it. Got the CPP. Alright. Let's initialize it on the constructor. Wonderful, now we have it. Now we just compile and see what happens. Alright, now that everything is compiled, we're going to check that our component is in our character. Let's go for it. Okay, we see that yes, it's here. SK right arm item. Alright, let's do a, a something first. Let's assign a mesh and, and see if... If... Uh, Alright, now that, uh, well, if we didn't have the uh, mesh, the new skeletal mesh, uh, import a new one. You can create a new one in Blender just in um, less than a minute. So, okay, to try out that the component works, we're going to assign it a skeletal mesh. So let's assign it our skeletal mesh. In this, ca in in this case, it's going to be uh, a weapon. We see the weapon, but uh, we still need a, a socket in the hand in order to attach it to the hand. So let's uh, create our socket for it to get attached. Do mannequin.
and a skeleton and let's just start a new socket here, a socket and we're going to be calling it Red hand socket. All right. Once this is ready, we play, and we see that our mesh gets attached. But it's too small. Let's make it bigger. Well, now it's too big. To play, and yeah, now it works. So yeah, our component works. All we need to do now is do that in runtime. We assign it a new uh, mesh. Let's set it to null, though, so we can use it later. Clear. All right. Play. Everything works fine. All right. Uh, now that we have our new component and all, we're going to declare our rep notifier variable. How cool! So let's go to our header and write this. It's going to be a skeletal mesh, not a component. So take attention. All right. Uh, we're going to do that. It replicates, and when it replicates, it's going to call on rep right item which is going to be a, a function let's include it in our get replicated props right, right side item yeah Now let's declare the function that it's going to call whenever a variable is uh, get, getting replicated. So let's... All right, make it public. Now we need to define it. So let's define it.
All right, so whenever our variable is replicated, it's uh, basically going to print from character to write item. It's is on wrap. Let's make sure everything is all right. Alright, seems right. Let's uh, trigger our variable replication whenever we pick uh, pick the uh, item up. We're going to apply. Try to replicate the uh, variable. Alright, get picked. Alright, so once it gets replicated, the right side Well, uh, before everything, we need to declare a new variable inside the pickup, which is going to be the skeletal mesh. Alright, let's try uh, define it. It's going to be called mesh for equipping. Go in the all right here, the public space, and ready. Mess for the equipping it's here and ready. All right. So once we pick it up, the picker right side item, right. Hold on. The the item is going to be our mesh for equipping. All right, now it works. Now let's compile and see on if everything worked fine. Alright, so let's go to the C++ part. That whenever we change, a, we replicate a variable, the our skeletal mesh variable, we're going to attach a different mesh to the uh, skeletal mesh component. So let's write this. S -S -K write arm item, set skeletal mesh, and Let's set it the uh, skeletal mesh that we replicated, the red right side item. Alright. Let's compile and see uh, the changes. Alright, now that everything replicates now and it's compiled, 
and it said that whenever our variable is replicated we assign a new skeletal mesh let's go see our results let's hit play and let's go with the server and pick up the item okay we see from the server nothing nothing at all nothing must be but we, do, but we see from the client remember that the rep notify is only called from the client that our server has a new mesh attached that's good all right what if we want the server to attach our mesh as well well let's do it right now let's stop playing and let's do it all right this is simple uh, whenever we pick up the item to attach it from the from the server, whenever we pick up the item, so let's go to here. We we will assign it. the mess for equipping so now our server will have the uh, the mess for well the uh, mess as well so let's hit compile and hit play alright now for the server and from the client, whenever the the uh, item was picked, they get the uh, mesh attached. Now let's go and see the client. All right, the client as well, and from the server as well. So that's all for the uh, rep notify pattern. I hope you guys liked it. It's very simple. It's re it's really one of my favorite patterns to replicate a networking game pretty easy even easier in blueprints well that's all for this tutorial the next one it's going to be uh, the the multicast pattern my favorite pattern if you like this keep watching